Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Gather your props. You'll need a roll. If you don't have a roll already, use a towel, a big beach towel, or a blanket, and roll up that to make a roll about this size. Also, grab a block or two blocks. Two blocks if that is what makes your low back feel better. If you don't have blocks, you could substitute thick, heavy books, hardcover books, or something like that. And grab padding for your knees. So that could be another blanket or if you have something like this, a little rubber mat, that works. So come and find your comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. And once you sit down, if you find that your low back is slumping backwards and your chest is rolling forwards or your knees are really up here and you're really uncomfortable, sit up on something. So that could be a pillow. It could be the padding for your knees, your blanket, or it could even be a block. The priority is to get comfortable, including if you have hair that keeps trying to get into your mouth. <laughs> so deepen your breath, come into your ujjayi breath. Activate your feet, spread and lift the toes, even though you're seating, sitting. And as you inhale, feel for pulling your breath up from the bottom of your pelvic bowl all the way up along your spine and in through and into your skull. Exhale all the breath out without collapsing and pull your belly back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. The intent today is to feel for a spot that you're willing to bring your attention to today. But during the whole length of the class to not only bring your attention to your spot, but to feel inside for other layers that might be there. So you might be working with a spot that feels painful or is actually injured or is tweaky or tight in some way and feel in first for those physical sensations, but then you might start feeling in for other layers, an energetic layer, like if there's stress that you hold there, and that moves into emotion. And you might even start feeling for types of emotion that sit there, stress, fear, whatever it is, those are just examples. So before you just decide all of this, close your eyes, and ramp up your breath. And as you inhale, use your breath to scan your body first for a spot that you're willing to focus on. So if you do have an area that's painful or injured, be willing to use this time to focus on this. And if that does not seem interesting, feel for another spot that is interesting. All you're doing is feeling for a spot that you're willing to focus on. Take the next three breaths to do that. And if more than one spot calls to your attention, just pick one of those spots.
Now send your breath into your spot and just feel whatever it is that you feel in your spot and get curious about what you feel. You don't have to dive right into the deep end immediately. It's just noticing and feeling the top layer. Rinse your exhale through your spot, also using that part of your breath to feel, get curious, notice what lies in your spot. And then gently open your eyes. We're moving into pranayama. Kapalabhati, 50 pumps followed by three uddiyana. Kapalabhati is the short, sharp exhale. The belly pulls in on the exhale. The inhale is passive and the belly puffs out to allow that breath to come in. Uddiyana is the forceful exhale of the breath out, holding the breath out, don't inhale, and suctioning the belly back and up towards the spine while holding the breath. Before inhaling, you let it, your belly go, then breathe in. If you're pregnant, you're not doing either of these. Instead, you're doing either alternate nostril breathing or deep ujjayi breaths into your bottom back ribs, mid back ribs, and upper back ribs. If the explanation of Kapalabhati and Uddiyana is still confusing for you, stop this video and go to the Pranayama video that talks about Kapalabhati and Uddiyana. So, leg position choices. Stay in your easy cross leg or come into Baddha Konasana. And you can even do this in a modified, very relaxed straddle pose, if that's better for your hips or your knees. Whatever you're doing, activate your feet. Then come into chest opener. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Fingertips on the floor, lifting your chest up. Start with partial inhale. 50 pumps of Kapalabhati. breath at the top of the inhale. Then walk your hands forward. Exhale forcefully all the breath out. Get empty coming into your Uddiyana. Hold the breath out. Don't inhale. Suction your belly back and up towards the spine. Drop your chin and pull your chest away from the waist. Before you need to inhale, let your belly go, then breathe in. Walk your hands up. Second round, walk your hands forward. Uddiyana, exhale forcefully, all the breath out. Get empty. <sighs> Stay empty. Suction your belly back and up towards the spine. Use the Uddiyana to make space in your low back. Do the third round on your own. And when you're done, sit back up, gather your legs, and come onto your backs. Make sure that you have either your roll or your block, or well, definitely have your block nearby. But you can also have your roll nearby if you like to use it for abdominals. Lie on your back. And we're coming into reclined spinal twist. If reclined spinal twist exasperates an issue that you have in your low back, instead what you could do is back traction. And you could even do Baddha Konasana with the feet on the floor and do back traction here. 
feel for spreading your back ribs in the floor, but your low back may lift off a little bit or press into the floor depending on what works best for your low back. Everyone else, we're coming into recline spinal twist. So first, bring your knees over your hips. Then allow both knees to fall to your left. Have your knees stacked. And if that does not work, grab your blocks. And this is where you can find out if your blocks are too far away. And you can place a block underneath both knees and another block underneath your ankles. Or even your roll can go underneath the knee and the block underneath the ankles. Stretch your right arm alongside your right ear somewhere that feels good for your shoulder. Take your left hand and place it on your, your right side ribs. Inhale, breathe in underneath that left hand. Feel your ribs expand. Exhale, push into your left shoulder blade and maybe move your right shoulder blade towards the floor a little bit. Goal post your arms or stretch them straight out if you have the space. Inhale the right leg up first, follow with the left leg. Bring both feet to the floor and just shift your hips slightly to the left. Bring both knees back over your hips and allow both knees to fall to your right, stacking your knees. Bring your right hand onto your left side ribs and stretch your left arm alongside your ear. Again, you can use blocks or your roll or even a blanket underneath your knees and your ankle if this is too much for your low back or if your knees don't simply touch the floor. It's okay that your left shoulder blade does not touch the floor. Inhale into the left side ribs. Exhale, push into your right shoulder blade to bring your left shoulder blade towards the floor a little more. Don't lift up your left knee. Then either stretch the arms to the side or goal post your arms for support. Inhale your left knee up, then your right leg. Bring both feet to the floor and grab your prop. It could be your roll or your block for abs with a prop. If you're pregnant, you're still using the prop, but what you're doing is ab lifts with a block. You're not pulling the belly in, the head stays down, no breath holds. Instead, what it is is spreading your back ribs in the floor. Exhale, spread the low back down, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block, squeeze your sit bones. Inhale, gently release that, and bear down with your breath into the bottom of the pelvic bowl. Everyone else, feet stay on the floor. Everyone, activate your feet. If you're doing abs at the block, clasp your hands behind the base of the skull. Unless you have a neck issue, you can always keep the head down. Inhale through the back ribs. Feel the back ribs actually move and get wider. Hold the breath. Scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block, press into your feet. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, relax your jaw and pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Keep active feet, press into them. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders off the floor and pull your low belly down. Relax the front of your neck. Inhale into your spot, bring your shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, pull your low belly down. Breathe in deeply, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Keep the block on, but bring your hands to your low belly. 
breathe down into your low belly and feel there, even if it's not your spot. And as you exhale, connect whatever you're feeling in your abdominals into your spot. So you start comparing what you're feeling. Elbow to knee variation with a block. Now, if you have a free wall, an option is to bend both knees and bring your feet on the wall. And what you'll be doing is lifting one leg straight up towards the ceiling when we get there. If you're not close to a free wall, what you're going to do is what I'm doing, feet on the floor. And when we straighten the leg, it's coming out at a, about a 45 degree angle so that the thighs stay parallel. No matter what version you're doing, the block is to stay straight and not turn to one side or the other. If you're pregnant, you could do this, but keep the head down, no pulling the belly in and no breath holds, but you could do the lower body portion of lifting one leg and still not letting your block twist. Everyone else, clasp hands behind the base of your skull, bring the elbows up. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your crop. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Keep pressing through the left foot. Keep your block straight. Keep squeezing it and pull your low belly down. Keep the, the back spreading into the floor. Inhale, bring the right foot down or back to the wall. Hold the breath. Scoop the tailbone up. Squeeze your block or prop. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Keep squeezing your prop and pull your low belly down. Inhale, bring the foot back to the floor or the wall. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Keep pushing through the ball of the right foot without torquing your block. Pull your low belly down. Keep those inner legs strong. Inhale, foot back to your surface. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, foot back to the floor. Now we're going to add a little twisting into the upper body. Take another deep inhale in. Pull the breath. Scoop the tailbone up. Squeeze your prop. Exhale, bring both elbows towards the left knee. Straighten your right leg. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, foot to the floor. Come back to center. Hold the breath. Spread the low back down. Scoop your tailbone up. Exhale. Elbows towards your right knee. Keep squeezing the block. Straighten the left leg. Pull your low belly down. Keep the low back into the floor. Inhale. Come back to center. Hold the breath. Scoop the tailbone up. Squeeze your prop. Exhale. Elbows towards the left knee. Right leg straight. Pull your low belly down. Inhale. Come back to center. Hold the breath. Spread the low back down. Scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards your right knee, left leg straight, pull your low belly down. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your head back to the floor and remove your block. Moving on to elbow to knee, regular elbow to knee. You always have the option of keeping the feet on the floor and everyone has the option of keeping the head on the floor if your neck in particular is very tweaky. If you're pregnant, you could go back to abless with a block or do this with feet on the floor and straightening one leg, either forward or up towards the ceiling. No pulling the belly in, no breath holds. Everyone else, clasp your hands behind the base of your skull. If you're going to the full version of elbow to knee, knees over the hips, feet lower than the line of the knees. Everyone, active feet. Inhale, head and shoulders off of the floor. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left knee, right leg straight. You could have it at a 45 degree angle or straight up towards the ceiling. Pull your low belly down. Inhale deeply, come back to center. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. 
Exhale, elbows towards the right knee, left leg straight. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, deeply come back to center. Do three more rounds on your own, feeling into your spot as you do these three rounds. When you're done, bring your head and your feet back to the floor. Breathe and feel. Feel into your spot, noticing if the heat that you're generating is starting to help you peel away some layers. You can feel what else lies in your spot. Have a block nearby. We're going to use it for bridge. Set up for bridge. Raise the back of your heels with your longest fingertips. Feet parallel, as wide as your hips. Spread your arms. And you might have to use block or, or rather move props to make space. Activate your feet. Breathe in through your back ribs. Exhale, scoop the tailbone up. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Relax your neck. Relax the back of the skull. Grab your block, place it on the highest, most comfortable edge for you underneath your sacrum. Make sure it's not on your low back and it's not on your buttocks. It's really on the sacrum, the bony part. I'm gonna do ankle over thigh. So heel toe your right foot in so the ankle lines up with the center of your right hip. Inhale the left knee into the chest. Exhale, place that ankle over the thigh. Press into it gently to send your left knee down and forward away from the hip. Inhale, lift your sternum towards the chin. Exhale, press into your right foot, squeeze your sit bone muscles, send your tailbone in the direction of your right knee. Feel for getting more spacious. Use your breath, use your active feet, use that pressing into the left ankle to help make space in the left hip flexor. Inhale your left knee into the chest. Exhale, bring the foot to the floor. Activate it, press into it. Inhale your right knee into the chest. Exhale, ankle over thigh. Press into your ankle to send the right knee down towards the floor and forward away from the right hip. Inhale, breath into your right hip. Exhale, keep pressing through that right ankle. Make more space in your right hip, in your spine, and in your spot. Inhale the right knee into the chest. Exhale, bring the foot to the floor. Press into both feet. Inhale, curl your pivot bone towards the belly button, lift off of your block, stay up, but move the block off to the side. 
And then exhale, come down ever so slowly. Keep pressing through your feet. Scoop the tailbone up. Come all the way down. Bring your hands onto your thighs. The heels of the hands right in your hip creases for the little back traction. Inhale through the back ribs. Exhale, press into your hands, straightening the arms. Shoulders can height and feel for lengthening through the spine. Some of you might find that flattening your lower back on the floor gets into your spot or even makes space for yourself more easily. Others might find that lifting the lower back ever so slightly away from the floor, keeping the back bottom ribs pressing into the floor is what does it for you, gets into that sweet spot. Gently release. Roll all the way over to your side and use your hands, your arms to inhale, push your torso up to sit. Take your bottom hand on the cheek and lift the head back up. Meet up on your hands and knees. Turbo puppy. From hands and knees, we're gonna do a little micro bending in the elbows first before coming into turbo puppy. So have your wrists right underneath your shoulders and the hands slightly wider than the width of your shoulders. Now press into your hands a lot and you'll feel how your upper back starts stretching up towards the ceiling. Straighten your arms as much as you can, even if you hyper flex, if you're hyper mobile. Inhale through the upper back. Exhale, slide your shoulder blades away from the ears, but keep pressing through the hands. Now, micro bend your elbows so that the elbows start pointing straight back. Don't bend out to the sides, bend them straight back. Inhale into your upper back. Exhale, keep pushing into your hands like crazy, but keep that micro bend in your elbows. Then moving into turbo puppy, walk your hands forward four inches. Bend that elbows halfway towards the floor, relax your neck. Push into your hands like crazy, like you were just doing, but keep the elbows bending. Breathe into your upper back. Exhale, wrap your shoulder blades towards the armpits. Relax your neck. Check out your spot here. Breathe in, connect to it, feel. And start feeling as we move through the practice, if it allows you the time, the energy, and the heat to start peeling away layers, to feel what else, besides the physical part, lies in your spot. What kind of energy? Dolphin pose. Bring your forearms down to the floor. Take your elbow measurement, wrapping your fingers around your upper arm bones. Either forearms parallel with the fingers spreading. Make sure that the middle finger lines up with the wrist and the wrist lines up with your elbow. If your shoulders need the extra support, clasp your hands. That's the version I'm doing today. Press into your forearms. Inhale through the upper back. Relax your neck. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades towards the armpits. Tuck the toes if you have further to go and lift the hips towards the ceiling. The knees can stay quite bent if that's better for your low back or your hamstrings even or you could work towards straightening your legs. Whatever version you're doing, squeeze isometrically your legs towards each other. Even if your knees are down, everyone inhale into your upper back. Exhale, push into your forearms, keep wrapping your shoulder blades towards the armpits. 
Get your upper back broad. Get your collarbones broad. Bring your knees down. Slowly roll up to sit. Come to stand. We're doing Avnisara and four stance. Four stance. Separate your feet four feet apart. Rotate the toes out about 45 degree angle. Bend the knees, come onto your horse. If you're pregnant, you're doing the horse, you're not doing Agnisara, what you'll do is back traction. Shoulders can hike up quite a bit. Sink your pelvis low, squeeze those sit bone muscles, getting the tailbone down. If horse hurts anyone's knees, you could do Agnisara with the legs straight or the knees just bent a little bit. I'm gonna lift my shirt so you can see me. If you're not familiar with Agni Sara, watch the first round and then join in on the second round. Agni Sara is similar to Udiana, except that when you're holding your breath out and not inhaling, you're pumping your belly. It comes in and out with no breathing. If you're familiar with this, you're doing it with me but we're doing it in back traction. Start with partial inhale. Exhale forcefully all the breath out, get empty. <sighs> Stay empty. Pull the belly in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. Do that as long as it's interesting or comfortable. And before you need to breathe in, let your belly go, breathe in. Do two more rounds on your own. When you're done, press into both feet, inhale, straighten your legs, heel toe your feet underneath your hips, and then grab your two blocks or anything that you can use to safely put your hands on for extra support. And your blocks come to the outer edges of your mat. We're moving into sun's Activate your feet. Have your ankles underneath your hip bones. Feet parallel. Inhale into your side ribs. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles and send your tailbone towards the floor. Feel for getting your legs really strong and active. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Bend the knees, the arms come down, put your hands on the blocks. Now, if your low back is super tweaky, this is your forward fold. You're keeping your head up. If you have vertigo, this is also a great option. Now, if you're pregnant and you wanna stay there, you may need to widen your legs to give room for the baby. If you have further to go, you can move your blocks off to the side, but keep your knees bent. Your chest rests on your thighs. Then place your hands down or keep your hands on the block. Lunge, inhale, step your left knee down. You can keep your hands on the blocks here or the floor, but if you have further to go, the hands can come up onto your thigh. Plank pose. Bring your hands to the floor, not on blocks. Inhale, step back into your plank. Now push into your hands, feel your upper back reaching towards the ceiling. Pull your belly in, lower the knees, shoulder blades away from the ears. Exhale, lower to the floor. If you're pregnant and it's uncomfortable on your belly, then you're just on your knees and doing a camel or chest opener. Everyone else, 
Come into a sphinx, elbows underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do the sphinx first. Curl the pubic bone into the floor, press back through your legs. Inhale, keep the forearms pressing into the floor, drag your chest between your shoulders. Your mid ribs come forward, the low ribs come forward, and the chest. Pulling the ribs forward, lower down, hands beneath shoulders, exhale, either onto hands and knees or down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step your left foot forward. Now, if that means bringing the back knee down and helping that leg forward, do that. Sink your hips forward and down. If that hurts your front knee, scoot that left foot forward so the ankle stays underneath the knee. You can also use padding underneath your right knee. Bring your hands on your thigh or keep them on your block or the floor. Forward fold with the knees bent. Exhale. If you need to grab your blocks, do that. You can even grab a chair and put your hands on the chair. Keep your knees bent. Press into your feet. Inhale. Roll up to stand. Bring the arms up. Exhale. Hands at heart center. We're going to do that again, but a little faster. Breathe into your spot as we move through the suns. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, roll down, grab your blocks if you're using them. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the right foot back, pad the knee if you need to. This time, you can lift the arms up overhead if you're ready. Plank, exhale, hands down, step back. Pull your belly in, inhale, lower just the knees. Now squeeze your sit bone muscles down the backs of the thighs, support your low back. Exhale, lower down, chest comes forward, shoulders move back. Low Cobra, set up in Sphinx first. Then move your elbows just one inch forward in front of the line of the shoulders, but they stay shoulder width. Press into your feet, curl your pubic bone into the floor. Press into your hands, inhale, drag your ribs forward. Lift the elbows two inches off the floor. Chest comes forward, exhale, lower down. Hands underneath the shoulders, exhale, down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step your right foot forward. Arms where they work for you. Keep plugging your feet into the floor. Exhale through your spot as you come into forward fold with bent knees. Inhale into your spot as you roll up to stand. Exhale, hands at heart center. Keep breathing into your spot through the next round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll down, forward fold. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot back. Arms where they work for you. Hands down, exhale, step back into your plank. Inhale, lower the knees, tops of the feet on the floor. Keep pressing into the tops of the feet, pull your belly in. Exhale, lower down, elbows straight back, not winging out to the sides. Low cobra, hands forward, about 12 inches. Inhale, drag your chest forward, elbows and forearms two inches off the floor. Drag the ribs forward, hands underneath the shoulders, exhale, down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold with bent knees. Inhale, roll up the stand, support your spine. Exhale, hands at heart center. Do this last round on your own, connecting your breath into your spot, feeling how these movements affect your spot and if they allow you to start feeling underneath. If you lose track of which movement is next, don't worry about it, do what feels good to you, but it will be the right leg back and then forward.
when you're done, stand with the front of your mat, activate your feet, squeeze your sit bone muscles down the backs of your thighs, and feel with your breath into your spot. Setting up for B series. We're gonna move through a chair pose. Ankles right underneath the hip bones. Isometrically squeeze your legs towards each other. Inhale, sit your hips way back. Then bring your chest and your arms forward like you're in a little bit of a little tiny back bend. Keep the knees bent, exhale forward fold, and you can always grab a chair or your blocks. Keep the knees bent, inhale, come up on fingertips or even on your blocks so that you get your back straight. It might even be parallel to the floor. Then bend the knees if you need to more to plant the hands, step back into your plank. Knees down, lower all the way to the floor. Then come into that Sphinx pose for a moment. We're going to do a Cobra push-up variation. Starting with low Cobra, curl the pubic bone into the floor, press back and down through the feet and your thighs. Inhale into low Cobra. Lift your elbows one inch off the floor, pulling the ribs forward. Exhale, lower down. If that felt like your edge, Stay there, but if you're further to go, walk your hands towards your armpits, four inches. Curl the pubic bone into the floor, press down and back through your legs. Inhale, push it into the hands, drag your ribs forward to lift up, elbows straight back, shoulder blades away from the ears. Exhale, lower down, dragging your ribs forward. Again, if that's your edge, stay there. But if you're further to go, walk your hands towards your armpits about four inches. Curl the pubic bone towards the floor, press back and down through the legs. Inhale, dragging your hands to isometrically towards your hips. Lift your chest forward and up. Drag your ribs forward, exhale, lower down. If you have further to go still, walk your hands underneath your armpits. Curl the pubic bone into the floor, press back and down through your legs. Get them strong. Inhale, drag your ribs forward and up. Keep the elbows bending straight back. Exhale, drag the ribs forward, lower down. Pause, breathe into your low back. Exhale, meet up in down dog or you can stay on hands and knees. Warrior two with telescoping the ribs. Step your left foot forward, warrior two. Stand up. I'm mirroring you, so make sure your left leg is forward and bent. The knee is bent directly over your ankle. If that hurts, you can always straighten it just a little bit. Make sure that your front heel is lined up with the back arch, and then bring your hands onto your hips. Squeeze the sit bone muscles down. The right sit bone muscle will go down the back of the right thigh. Pushing into the hands, inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles, send your tailbone towards the floor. And when you do that, you might just create a little more space to come deeper into your warrior two. Keep pressing through both feet. Inhale, expand your breath into your side ribs. Exhale, pull the belly in a little bit. Squeeze those sit bone muscles. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Shoulder shrugs, relax your arms. Spread your breath into your upper back. Hold the breath. Shrug the shoulders up, squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze and drag down your back. Breathe into the upper back. 
Exhale, squeeze straight back. Squeeze, drag down your back. Saturate your upper back with breath. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades. Add your elbows. Squeeze, drag down your back. Float your arms up. Bring both hands to the floor. Step back into down dog. Bring your knees down. We're doing a modified camel pose. So you need padding for your knees, your shins, and your feet. If you have that second blanket, use your blanket or fold over your mat. Once and a half and then once again. And you'll be on your mat so that your knees, your ankles, and your toes are all on your mat. I'm using a blanket here. Have your knees centered so they're right underneath the center of your hip bones. Tops of the feet on the floor, unless that hurts, you can always tuck your toes. Hands on your hips. This is just a little modified baby camel. Press into your hands, squeeze those sit bone muscles down the backs of the thighs. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Get longer through your low back and your entire spine. Inhale into your spot. As you create more space, even if it's not directly in your spot, notice how that gives you a little more air, a little more space to feel into your spot. And then unfold your mat or move your blanket off to the side if you're using a blanket and meet up and down dog. Warrior two, telescoping the ribs, step your right foot forward. Warrior two, stand up. I'm mirroring you, so I did this fancy little switch, but make sure that your right knee is bent and forward. Hands on your hips. Press into your active feet, squeeze the sit bone muscles down and toward your tailbone. Press into your hands, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor, using those sit bone muscles to help with that. Inhale, breath into your upper side ribs and get those ribs to move towards your armpits. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Open up your collarbones in the front of your chest. Get curious about how different poses affect your breath and in turn affect what you feel in your spot. Shoulder shrugs, relax your arms, spread your breath into the upper back. Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders up, squeeze straight back, exhale, squeeze, drag down your back. Spread breath into your upper back. Exhale, squeeze straight back without sticking your front ribs forward. Exhale, drag down your back. Balloon your breath into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades. Add your elbows, squeeze, and drag down your back. Float your arms up, bring both hands to frame your right foot. Exhale back into your plank and lower all the way to the floor. Then grab your roll. I'm gonna just turn around this direction. You're gonna lie over the roll. If you're pregnant, you're not lying over the roll. If you're pregnant, you're repeating camel or your chest opener. Everyone else, you're lying over the roll, so the belly button is pretty centered over the roll. Bring your forearms down. 
So you're in like a sphinx. Now if your front bottom ribs are touching the roll, move forward on your roll. So the roll's in the soft part of your belly. Press into the tops of your feet. Squeeze those sit bone muscles. Curl the pubic bone towards the floor. So we're just gonna stay here. Inhale all along your spine and then swirl your breath into your low back. And as you exhale, you can just stay here, letting your belly soften so you can feel the roll sinking into the belly. Or if you have further to go, you could bring your forehead to your stacked wrists or even straight down to the floor. Breathe into your low back. And then peel yourself off of the roll and move your roll off to the side. Meet up and down dog, exhale. Warrior one, step your left foot forward. Coming into warrior one, ground the back heel, stand up. Make sure in your warrior one that your hips are facing the front of the mat pretty evenly. They're not gonna be perfectly even. And to be able to do that, you might have to step your right foot out to the side. What I'm gonna do is show you straight forward for a moment. So the hips are facing forward. Bring the hands on your hips, you can actually feel that. And if your right hip is back so that your pelvis is facing the side, step your right foot out to the right about an inch, get that right hip forward. And that's important for doing back bends eventually in your warrior one position. It's also for people that have tweaky sacrums. This is better for your sacrum. And even when we start getting into twists, it's better for your low back and your sacrum. Now press into your hands, inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles. Feel your right sit bone muscle move down the back of the right thigh. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. So your spine is getting longer and longer. And then feel into your spot. Easy twisting warrior. Grab a block if you're going to be using it. Your hand is either on the floor or the block. 12 to 18 inches away from the inside of your left foot. If this does not work, your option is always to bring that back knee down. Inhale, lift your left arm towards the ceiling and relax your neck. Push into both feet so they're anchoring down. Push into your right arm and the hand to inhale, arc the side ribs away from the waist without the left hip moving forward. And as you exhale, keep pressing into that right hand, you might open up across the collarbones and you'll feel an arcing in the upper back where the sternum starts actually moving away from your left thigh. Bring the left hand to the floor. Exhale, back into down dog. Bring the knees down. We're doing another camel. So grab your padding or fold up your mat twice. Make sure that you have padding underneath your knees, your ankles, and your feet. These are really bony areas and they need padding. Again, knees are centered underneath the center of your hips where the femur pretty much plugs into your pelvis, your hip bones. Hands on the hips. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze the sit bone muscles down the backs of the thighs. Send your tailbone down. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles, tailbone down. Keep pressing through the tops of the feet or you can tuck the toes if that's better for your ankles. Some of you might be able to start bending 
in your upper back. There's no hinging anywhere. So if you feel any discomfort, especially in your low back, back out of this and work on just telescoping your ribs. Everyone, inhale, telescope the ribs up. Only if you have further to go on your exhale. Send the sternum up and back. Then slowly come back up to center. Move your mat back or move your blanket out of the way. Meet up and down dog. Warrior one, telescoping the ribs. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, stand up. Hands on your hips. Active feet. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles. Left sit bone muscle down the back of the left thigh. Make space through your whole spine and notice how that affects your spot. Easy twisting warrior or lunge. Grab your block if you're using it. Inhale, lift your right arm towards the ceiling. Now at any time, if lifting your arm straight up hurts, just bring your hand to your hip or onto your sacrum. Relax your neck. Push into both feet. Inhale through your side ribs. Get those ribs to move away from the waist. Exhale, keep pushing into your left hand, left shoulder blade away from the ear, and send your sternum away from your waist and away from your right thigh, arcing in the upper back. Then, right hand to the floor, Exhale, step back into your plank, lower all the way to the floor. Grab your roll. If you're pregnant, repeat camel, or you can even come back into your horse dance. Cobra push-ups over a roll. Bring your forehead to the floor. Curl your pubic bone towards the floor. Hands underneath the shoulders. Shoulder blades back. Inhale, pushing into the hands. Drag your chest forward and up. Keep pushing into your feet. Exhale, drag the ribs forward. Get longer. Come all the way down. Curl the pubic bone towards the floor. Inhale, drag your ribs forward. Lift up. Exhale, drag the ribs forward. Lower down. Inhale, drag your ribs forward. Lift up. Exhale, drag the ribs forward, lower down. Do one more on your own. And when you're done, lie over the roll, breathe into your low back. And then peel yourself off of your roll. Move the roll off to the side. Come back into your down dog. Bring your knees down. It's time to lie on your back. For back release pose, have your feet on the floor to start. Rest your head on the floor. Now, one thing I want to point out, whenever you're lying down, even when the knees are bent, if your neck starts arcing away from the floor, even here, you can always put a blanket or a very flat pillow or that rubber padding underneath your skull to see if that gives your neck a little more spaciousness. Bring your right ankle over the left thigh, flex the right foot. You can stay here your right hand will be on the top of your right thigh, left hand on the top of your left thigh, and you're doing a little back traction here, also making space in your hip flexors. But if you have further to go, lift that left foot off the floor, grab behind your left thigh. So the right hand is between both legs. 
or grab in front of your left shin. Relax your neck. Don't lift your head up. Breathe in along the length of your spine. Exhale, feel into your spot. Use the moments of quiet to really feel and connect into your spot. Starting to feel for other layers, energetic, emotion, something else that may lie in your spot. And it's okay if you don't actually feel something else, you might just feel the physical sensation and that is fine. Unwind, do the other side. Feet on the floor first. Left ankle over the right thigh, stay here with back traction or grab behind the right thigh in front of the right shin. Left foot is flexed a lot. Left knee moves away from your chest. Breathe in, feeling the back ribs move and expand. If you're further to go, as you exhale, squeeze your right thigh towards your chest. Unwind. Both feet back to the floor and then widen your feet as wide as your mat for windshield wiper in your legs. The arms can be wherever they feel good to you, even resting on your belly. Inhale, allow both knees to fall towards the left. Exhale, come back up through center. And as you inhale, allow both knees to fall to your right. Exhale, come back up through center and continue on your own, following your own breath. You may slow down your movement or speed it up a little bit if that's what feels better for your spine or your spot. You may even pause a little bit more on one side than the other. But don't pause so much that it becomes a static pose. This pose is about the movement. When you're done, come back up through center so that your knees are both bent straight up towards the ceiling. And then set up for Shavasana. So you can keep the knees bent and knock them together if that's better for your low back. If you're near a wall, legs can go up the wall. Or if you're near your couch, your calves can go on the seat of the couch. Your hips are going to be close to the couch if you do that or you could straighten your legs. Find a position that allows you to really relax and let go. So if you need to make tiny adjustments so that you feel like you're not holding yourself up, do that. Now let your deep ujjayi breath go. Allow your automatic breath to take over. Let yourself sink into the support of the floor.
slowly bring your attention back to your whole body. Take a deep feeling breath. Connect back to your spine. Feel in there. Now, at the end of class. You might feel something different, new information, a new sensation, a new insight. Or you might just feel more deeply. Take another deep inhale in, feeling your whole core, from the bottom of your pelvic bowl to the top of your skull. Exhale, wash that deep breath through every cell of your body. Then bend the knees. If your legs are up the wall or on your couch, bend the knees so that the soles of the feet are against either the wall or the front of the couch. If you're on the floor, your feet can be flat on the floor. Everyone roll over to your side and just feel for relaxing all the way over on your side. Use the strength of your arms. Push into your palms to inhale the torso back up to sit. Let your head be the last to come up. Come and find your comfortable seated position. Stack the back of your skull over the back of your hips, your shoulders over your hips. If that means sitting up on a block, or some other prop, do that. Inhale all the way up from the bottom of your pelvic bowl through the length, all around the length and the height of your spine and in through your skull. Exhale, just feel. Luxuriate in the work that you're doing for yourself. Then bring your hands in front of your heart. Take a deep inhale in. Namaste. Thank you. Happy whatever day you're practicing this on.